demonstrate how to make castor oil emulsion, which is used as a laxative and its beyond use date is 14 days. So I'll demonstrate how to do a wet gum emulsion as the water will be the base. So first I'm going to add the water into the mortar. And now I'm going to add the acacia powder into the mortar and triturate it until it is fully dissolved. So this is a wet gum emulsion because the water is the base first and then I'm going to add oil drop by drop into the mortar. So you're going to triturate it until a smooth mixture is created. So now I have the castor oil and I'm going to add drop by drop while mixing or triturating vigorously. And the key to this is to make sure you hear the sticky and clicking noise and make sure you don't add too much oil all at once. You are going to continue to triturate this for about four to five minutes until you hear that sticky clicking noise. You can start to hear the clicking noise in this mixture. Yeah. Make sure you stir it in one direction perpendicular with very high shear force. Make sure you add the oil drop by drop so you do not get phase separation. So you're going to make sure you have quantity sufficient up to 60 milliliters in the calibrated vial. If you do not have enough, you're going to add water a little bit at a time until you can make up the full quantity to 60 milliliters. And now that you're finished adding all of the oil drop by drop, you're going to add quantity sufficient up to 60 milliliters into the amber colored vial. To do so, you have to add water a little bit at a time until you make the quantity via a dilution. Now that you added quantity sufficient up to 60 milliliters, you're going to pour it into the amber colored vial. You want to make sure you get every last drop of emulsion so you can use a spatula to scoop it in there. So now that it's at the 60 milliliter mark, make sure you shake the castor oil emulsion and you can label it and dispense it. Mm -hmm.